What is up YouTube? Calvin from I-95 Muscle coming at you today. This time with a gorgeous 1969 Ford F100. In this case, it is a Farm and Ranch Special. I'm not sure if that's just a sticker that somebody put on there, but it looks good. Uh, it is a long bed. Manual transmission, three on the tree. Clutch feels really good. Brakes are absolutely amazing. And it is four wheel drums, but this thing stops on a dime. So paint looks pretty good. I think it's single stage. It was painted some years ago. This thing actually runs and drives really, really well. Um, we have a 300 cubic inch straight six. I know that because some people are probably gonna argue that it's a 240. Uh, they only put the 300 in the long beds. The short bed was the only one that got the 240. So, brand new master cylinder, some new brake lines, new brake hoses all the way around. All the brakes have, it, have been adjusted and it stops really good. Uh, new battery, uh, runs and drives great. Doesn't overheat, doesn't take a lot of effort to drive, and all the panels, like all the doors and hood open and close really, really well. So you can see your door gap looks really good all the way up. Watch this. That's shut, literally, just, just barely barely shut it so all in all this thing's in really really good shape seats got a little tear in it little tears I mean happening it is uh, kind of deteriorated over time but we wanted to put a Mexican uh, blanket seat cover on it but we didn't want to hide anything from the customer so you can see you know yeah sure the fabrics giving out a little bit but a gun rack in the back your fuel tanks located in the cab behind the seat pretty easy to get to and maintain e-brake works flawlessly all the lights work wipers uh, those are still some old wiper blades they do work I don't want to turn them on yet I think we're ordering some wiper blades for it so uh, temp gauge I've had it running about 15 minutes out here now taking pictures of it it is not getting warm fuel gauge I think is the only gauge that does not work the speedometer works the radio does not work. Uh, the blower does work. And we got some looky loose. What's up, guys? You guys are famous. I like that truck. Yeah, you can have it. I'm going to pause this video, guys. And we are back so much attention this thing getting that I can't even take a video of it um, again uh, e-brake works good the vents work so they're actually fully intact and working you can open and close the vent that side opening opens and closes over there too so you get a little airflow going through here um, it is a solid back window but gun rack is a nice nice touch like that and nice newer toolbox cobalt style so seal still intact looks like it would seal up pretty good and very solid this this is a no rust truck whatsoever so cab corners rockers all that stuff everything is is very very solid so bottoms of the doors are very solid no rust on this truck whatsoever so if you're looking for that one solid truck to uh to do whatever you want with or to daily drive or to just keep in the family for 50 years this is definitely the one you should be looking at so i know you can get all this uh trim uh the side trim molding i'm sure lmc truck has it uh the the grill and the bumpers and stuff and it looks pretty good the way it is it's solid it's not all bashed up there's a couple little dents here and there but nothing crazy And I thought this was really cool too. So this is like paint, like single stage or something. But um, you, when you get back here, this is actually like a, I don't know how to describe it. I guess it is like a, like a spray on bed liner or something. So it's still red, 
you can't really tell that it's different but like the whole back of the truck where you might be doing all your work or you know you might ding it or scratch it or something is like this more of this rustic uh harder finish so that was pretty cool and it's like that just on the outside and the inside of the tailgate here so pretty cool bed does have uh some dents in the wheel wells it's a truck somebody used it but now we get to take this thing for a little cruise around circle k um that brake light is on i'm gonna get to the bottom of that i think that proportioning valve switch was was flipped since the the brakes had to be bled and all that so not a big deal it was not on it's just on now uh the choke does work so if it's really cold pull the choke fires right up it's very easy to start and um once it's warm like you don't need choke at all so it'll fire right up oh she got a little spinny it is very hard to drive a three on the tree uh with one hand it's a good thing these brakes are great let's go ahead and back down to first gear here make this a crawl again instead of a cruise all right there honda I do want to do a brake check for you guys so you can see I've had uh, a lot of drum brake vehicles over the years and most of the time yeah, they can work pretty good I feel like this has to be one of the best stopping vehicles I think we've I've really ever driven that was a drum brake vehicle so um, about those yellow poles I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stomp on the brakes here let's go Stops pretty good. Love this truck. And the 300, I mean, I, I think it's actually a pretty strong motor. When you shift up to third gear, um, because the gear is much taller, you can actually feel it pull the truck along rather than bog, uh, which is kind of a surprising uh, aspect as well because you would think a straight six, you know, uh, shifting into third a little too early, it would probably bog a little bit or just feel like you don't have the power, but this thing pulls right through. Super awesome truck. So, I'm gonna let that wrap up this video. I got people out here weed eating and mowing the grass and trying to just interfere with my videos and I don't like it. So, but I do like cut grass. It looks much better than overgrown grass so all right thanks for watching guys make sure you like comment subscribe if you guys have any questions or comments please drop them down below have a great day oh happy mother's day to all you mothers out there this sunday don't forget go get your mother a gift or your wife if you have kids etc until next time guys